one of our biggest reasons for success is we have a good neighbor policy. And our neighbors do not want to look at our house with a bunch of broken down cars out on the street, okay? Or on the lawn or something like that. So we always buy houses with ample off street parking. And in the rare occasion, if a house gets too many cars, I have a compound of two houses up and over a hill right near each other with a big space in between about 50 feet where I put in cement parking. And so if one of our residents, you know, he comes to us, he has nothing. And after a while he gets his act together. And after a while he's got a job and not only that, but as time goes on, he's starting to fix his past problems. For instance, he gets that parking ticket that he got five years ago that's now two thousand dollars he gets that paid off you know he, he gets himself back in good standing and then he takes his driver's test and he gets his license back which is a huge day for them and then what happens after that they've got some money they all like to go to the auction and buy a junker car all right <laughs> and you know i always say god bless them you know it's a big day for them so they bring their junker car and park it in front and before you know it it's already broken down it's got flat tires and it's just sitting there. That's not good. That is not what we want. So when we do intake, hello, welcome to Kate's house. Welcome in here. Right now you don't have a whole lot, but we want to tell you the car policy. To be in a Kate's house, any car you have has to be in good running order. It has to be legally licensed, okay? And it can't be leaking oil. If you take care of that, we don't mind an occasional car out on the, out on the street. One car, maybe you know, with two or three in the driveway. But what you don't want is you, they go out and they get these, you know, these, these really bad cars. And I don't want to embarrass them or insult them, but if I have to, I'll move them to an area where they'll be off the street. Does that make sense? It's really important to us that when they come into our house, we know that they're going to be improving. They're going to be getting their own cars someday, but we want them to know you're not going to buy a car off a corner lot from somebody you met at a bus stop. It's, it's going to have to be legally registered and it's going to have to have car tabs that are current. And we make that crystal clear because if you don't, next thing you know, you know, you're going to be having these problems. These guys, are, they don't know what to do with their cars. We're proud of you. If you get to the point, we're going to bring in a car. That's great. But really what we're trying to avoid is we need cars in good working condition that are legally registered and have car tabs and aren't linking oil.